So, um, this is stuff that we do know from year 12, and now we are going to take it that sort of little step further, all right? So, um, some of these you might not be familiar with, um, but let's just talk through a few of them, all right? So, let's imagine that I've got, again, I'm gonna have some, um, some magnesium here. Um, first of all, what state is my magnesium in there? Let's just say that I've got one more. What state is that in, just by looking at this particle diagram? Jay, Jay that's yours. Solid, so I've got one mole of um, solid magnesium, okay? Now, it's solid, it's its standard state, right? Magnesium is a metal. Now, what can happen to this magnesium is that these, this magnesium solid can essentially form magnesium gas, okay? So we can see that the particles are now, there's a lot of distance between them, so they're now in the gas phase, right? So, this one here, and we get any ideas what we might call that? Wait, straight from a solid to a gas? Yeah, straight from a solid to a gas. Sublimation? Well, sublimation would definitely be the name of the um, change happening if we're looking at particle theory. But, and you won't know this, but we call this change the enthalpy of atomization. So this is one of the new ones. This is one of the new ones that we need to learn about. When one mole of a substance uh, in its standard state changes into gaseous atoms, that's called atomization. Okay, so that's a new one. That's a new one, that's one that you do need to learn, okay? So let's, let's go back to one that you will know. What if, what if I've now, I now take one of these, uh, if, if, I take, um, if I take my mole of magnesiums up here, okay? If I take the, this entire mole and I convert my entire mole of magnesium gas into this. I hope this is coming up clearly. You can change um, the color if you want to. Yeah, it might be a little bit yeah. difficult to see. Let me, I'll, yeah. I'll, um, let me come up to the purple. Brown. Way better. Way better? Okay. So what if I change that magnesium, get magnesium uh, gas into magnesium plus gas? What enthalpy change is taking place there? So remember, it's one mole. Um, you know, I'm, I'm modeling here four particles as one mole. I know that's not correct, but... It's a model. If this, is, if this is what, if it's a model, so it's got limitations. So here's one mole, and I'm making one mole of uh, magnesium plus ions. What enthalpy change would I call that? Sublimation of ionizing. Yeah. What's what's it? What, what's the, what's the proper name for that? For ionization. Yeah. Which ionization is it? First ionization. First ionization. Right, so this is the first ionization energy. And what are we missing? Are we missing anything? Yes, the electrons are lost. Good. Okay, so also we're going to have four in this case, or one mole, I should say, of electrons as well. Okay. Now, remember also that you've got the second ionization energy and the third and so on and so forth, all right? But I don't want to go too much into that right now. Uh, I'm more interested in some of these new ones. Right, now, we can take this idea of first ionization energy a little bit further and we can apply it to, um, to non-metals, for example, all right? But it's going to be slightly different, okay? Uh, let's say, okay, let's say that I had some chlorine. And again, I've got chlorine uh, in the gas phase. And again, let's say four particles then is equal to one mole. I know that's not true, but it's a model. So here's my chlorine, already in the gas phase because there's plenty of separation between the particles. Now, generally speaking, chlorine doesn't undergo first ionization energy. Why? Why, why does it generally not undergo first ionization energy? Any thoughts? Because it wants to gain electrons. Because it wants to gain electrons, why? Yeah, so it wants to gain one more, right? So what can happen to chlorine then instead of 
losing an electron, it's going to gain an electron. What would we form, Jane, if it if well, our mole of chlorine gains electrons? Cr minus. Cr minus, right? So Cr minus, Cr minus, Cr minus, Cr minus. How much? How many electrons does it need to gain? If this is one mole here, how many electrons does it need to gain? Four. Yeah, four or one mole. Okay, so it needs to gain four electrons. Okay, so four electrons we could say right so this is called this is called the first electron affinity now affinity means affinity is just another word for, for liking something if you have an affinity for something you like something okay so this is called the first electron affinity of chlorine now we haven't talked very much so far about signs, but now is now a good chance to do this because there's a nice little extension that we can do to this, all right? Um, if we look at the ionization mg of magnesium, for example, what's the sign of that? What is the sign of the first ionization mg of magnesium? Salma, what do you think? What would be, so the, the, the first, ionization, uh, first ionization energy of magnesium, what would be the, would it be a positive enthalpy change or a negative enthalpy change? Mm. Negative. Why do you think negative? Mm. Think of it as do you require energy or do you, does, is energy released in this process? Say again? Yes. Because we're, we're, we're ripping electrons out of the magnesium. Okay, so it is, it's a positive enthalpy change. All right. Now, Patrick's already led us on to this a little bit. He said that the chlorine wants to gain an electron. So what do you think the first electron affinity will be? What will be the sign of that? Jade, what do you think? Be negative, right? That's going to release, that's going to give energy out. It's a happy change because the chlorine is gaining an electron. Now, I want to take this one step further for a second. What if I didn't have chlorine? What if I had a different, what if I had a different uh, non metal? What if I had oxygen? Okay, so again, I'm going to have my oxygen atoms. We'll stick with four, okay? So my oxygen atoms, they uh, gain uh, four electrons. All right. And what's that? What's that change called again? When they gain an electron each. Patrick, what's it called? <coughs> first electron affinity. First electron affinity. All right. So there's the uh, first electron affinity of oxygen. I want to take it one step further, which is why I changed it. Oxygen. What? What was the charge on the ion that oxygen forms? Two minus. Two minus. Right, so what do you think this next change would be called then to turn this into a two minus ion? What would that be called? Salma, what do you think? Second electron affinity? Good, so the second electron affinity is when we form two minus ions, so O two minus, O two minus. Now, this first change, this first electron affinity, let's call it first Ea, okay? What do we think will be the sign of that? Will that be a, a positive or a negative enthalpy change? Jade? Negative. Negative, why? Because you're Yes. Okay, good. Now, what about the second electron affinity? What we're doing here is we are, we are giving electrons to oxygen, and we are saying that that is a negative, okay? It's a negative change, so it's got a negative sign. Now, think really carefully about this one. What will be the sign of the second electron affinity, and can you explain why? I'll give you about 10 seconds or so to think about that. Sir, so, to yeah. him, though, yeah. you, would you like to add the electrons on the side? Plus Yeah. E. That's a good hint. E, E, E. Okay. So I want you to think really carefully. What would be the sign of the second electron affinity? Okay. 
anybody want to give me their thoughts? Well, that's the classic trap, isn't it? It's, it's the classic trap of thinking, yes, it, it, it would be the same thing. It would be negative because we said before, oxygen wants to be two minus. But it's actually not negative. So I'm already thinking. It's positive because you need to have a positive work from because the, they're both negatively charged. Perfect. So they're repelled and you have to put yeah. energy in. Yeah, perfect. The second electron affinity in this case will be a positive change. It actually be quite a big positive because you're trying to force, as you say, negative particles together. Okay? Really well done. Okay. Anything to add there, Miss? Okay, perfect. <coughs> right.